Hello there, everyone, and welcome to me checking out a Runeca RuneScape private server. This one's Relic. Currently, uh, they're doing the Trailblazer Part 1. Or, well, Leagues 2, but Trail the original Trailblazer with those relics and it's being uh, put into the game. And in roughly a month and a half, they should be doing a redo of trailblazer reloaded so hopefully you'll join me for this journey there are a couple things that have uh, they've added in or changed um this is a private server so it's not part of the main game um and they also have you can check out the website they have monetary things if you want to speed up your progress and things you absolutely can some of the things that they do have uh can you can buy loot boxes and you can get powerful items as such and, uh, yeah. So, I just wanted to show off, uh, some of the game. And let's go through my journey checking out Trailblazer on the Relic private server. As with any great journey in a league, you gotta pick your relics. And I thought about it. Uh, these are the same ones that they had before with the, uh, plus 12 boost to everything. When you're making stuff, it's all done immediately and endless harvest. So you get two times from fishing wood cutting. We're going to take endless harvest because endless harvest uh, is good if you're going to AFK things. And I that's how I kind of like to play these games. Now, they do uh, definitely give you some like bonus points to just immediately get you started in it. Um, with You can see the tasks. I think they have... Oh, I actually get my... Sec uh, Second one already? Okay. Um, so, Fairy's Flight. Fairy Mushroom. Nah. Turtle. This, uh, is the, all the teleports. Nah. Last Recall. Oh, you bet your sweet patootie I'm taking Last Recall. Beautiful. Well, there's no sound for it. Weird. Anyway, so we took Last Recall. Well, as recall something I'm quite a fan on. And then, uh, oh, this is something I really like, is that uh, y there's no limit on the map. You don't have to unlock a specific area, which uh, definitely makes it a little bit of a bummer on getting points. Um, but at the same time, I just have access to the whole game. So uh, it's really hard to complain about that. So with all great journeys, you need to start off with running agility laps. As a, I, I don't make the rules. It's just what you have to do. So uh, this is actually one of the things that is uh, unique on the server. You, uh, right here at this hub, how to get there, use the teleport. But it has a bunch of different locations that you can go to like a lot of the city. So you don't have to worry about a lot of the teleports and stuff since, uh, I mean, you'll you'll immediately have these when you get more comfortable with the game anyway. Even some wilderness teleports, you know, I love those. But we're going to start off with some agility. There you go. Very quick transition. Uh, apparently the sun is in uh, full movement. Let's see, where does it actually put us? Okay, outside the village. So the sun, full scale, there you go, visit the tree gnome stronghold. Now we're going to go run agility laps. Oh, look at all those beautiful level ups. Uh, the first one immediately took me to three. Okay. All right. How far is this going to go for? I want to see one agility lap. Obviously, they, every obstacle has been one or more levels. <gasps> that one didn't give me a level. Ooh, ooh, this game's... Uh, Oh man, do I, do I really want to play this? Uh, I mean, I guess I, I guess I can do it. If I have to like, two a... mm. there you go. There's our first level ten and five, and uh, complete it. They got plenty of this. This actually does show milestones for other players as well. As you can see, like right here when people hit 90, or no, get the big drops, and it's just right here in the game server. And of course, when you finish one agility course, it's on to the next one. I do need to get the, <laughs> I need to get the uh, marks of grace for a lot of the uh, other upgrades, but we're just going to go through 
and uh, play it, you know, one... Oh, Mark, Mark of Grace spawned. Okay, I was about to say, I didn't get a Mark of Grace. <laughs> but we're going to go through and... Why is my construction level three? What did I do? What? Hey, yo, three construction. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not. I, I guess I got to double check because I'm pretty sure. Where's my XP? We got the ooh dragon impling. Got the first level 20. Let's go. But we're going to do this uh, once again. Oh, my God. That literally was level 20. Yeah, I'm getting... Hello, Mark of Grace. Uh, I'm going to just go through a lot of these points. A lot of... I, I, I Maybe I won't show too, too many tasks being done. Maybe I will. haven't fully decided. Let me know what you think. But I'm definitely going to show off some of it. And uh, let me know how you like the progression of this. And we'll definitely try and go through and... Uh, I'll, I'll try and improve anything. Apparently, I'm just getting... Did I read something wrong? I am getting construction levels for running agility, and I don't even have uh, the ability to construct. Also, I didn't bring this up. If you want to pull up the teleport menu, boop, teleport menu. It's already all right here. You can just look at it, and it goes. But I'm going to go through... Probably, like, all the agility courses that I can until I have to start doing quests, which is, like, two more. And then we'll dive into that, and uh, we'll we'll go through them. Oh, look at that. Beautiful level 32. Beautiful level 32. And 10 construction without even owning a house. Hey, look. A star. Wonderful. Uh. Uh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, you know what? There's, there's a couple little uh, hitches here and there. Don't even worry about it. Also, just gonna say, look how freaking brutal that. Like, I know, I know, it's just like in the base game, but like, all the agility courses are like, hey, leap from point A to point B, and it looks a little janky. But that one's like, put your head in a vice grip, have it nearly ripped off of your neck. I love it. And that is, I mean, I literally clicked past, but that is achieve your first level 40. And I, of course, did it in agility in a mode where agility is, well, you know, infinite. No, no, no. Run energy is infinite. Agility, I still need for, all, honestly, the reason I'm doing agility first is, well, okay, now I know I'm getting construction. So for the construction, but the reason why I'm doing agility uh, so early is... One, for fashion, if I decide to get the full graceful outfit. Two, I know a lot of these agility courses give you some free points. And three is uh, shortcuts in case I... Because I, I'm going to forget what shortcuts I have in the main game and not this. So I definitely want to be able to do any shortcut I can. So do, don't do forget your agility because it's super fast. This is um lap like four. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 leagues. It's leagues. Hey, you get it so fast. I also feel like I'm genuinely missing something. Uh, it seems like every single action I'm taking is giving me a uh, construction point. So I'm not sure if that's just a that's just a benefit of, of something, but I am certainly gaining. Like, I just attacked an imp and gained some, uh, uh, some, some construction, so, you know. Construction. And that is a 100 total level, and also pickpocket a man. Because his pockets, his pockets must be picked. So. Uh, it seems, I've got to double check if they have the shift click thing, because this does, uh, have some of the rune light things on it, but... When you, you know you you enable a lot of these things on your own, and I know it is. I believe this is also running on the older engine of the game, as opposed to the new one. Which the new one, when it comes to Trailblazer Three, it will be more updated. Just trying to recreate Trailblazers Two more accurately, as opposed to because like it won't have the elemental weaknesses or anything like that. 
I don't believe it should have any of those put in to the game yet, so, you know, keep that in mind that there'll be a little bit of differences, but I, I, it's basic, you know, it's, it's still RuneScape, so you don't have to, like, worry about that. Just some of the options. Yeah, 338... Yeah, for some reason, everything is giving me construction XP, and I, I guess I'm not too uh, upset about that, because construction is kind of annoying to train. Fast, but annoying. As another thing, I really wanted to check this out, so I, I just kept pickpocketing, and I got myself down to being super low on health, and then I attacked the the man and turned off auto-retaliate. When you die, you just come right back here to this hub... And you don't have to worry about it. Uh, and I'll show off a couple of the things in this hub. Like I talked about the... Well, I guess I would need to actually drain a stat. Uh, but I talked about uh, some of the things like this. I believe this one is the... Uh, switch spell book. So I probably need to do the quest to switch to the spell book. But it... Uh, yeah, worship the relics of the gods. This should... Uh, buff me, or I believe this is uh, worshipping versus regular is. Yeah, that's the spell book you're already on, ancient. And even, you know, no quests. I, I believe the creator of this is like, eh, quests kind of suck. No quests. So, for a lot of those. And there are a lot of AFK things like I, I think there might be a level requirement, but let's see. So, you can uh, is there a chance to do this? It's just not letting me harvest? Maybe I don't have the level requirement. Uh, you need to wait one minute until you can use this again. You begin to harvest. Oh, yeah, for the, the worship, which I believe is supposed to full recover on your stats. But there's a lot of AFK things you can do. There might be level requirements on it, uh, since it is just letting me stand here and do this, but I'm not gaining the XP. But it's probably because I don't meet its level requirement. I believe this uh, pray at the altar is... Is this AFK prayer? Anyway, these are some AFK things. Um, uh, if you watch the tutorial on it, it says, like, over here, like, these are AFK things. But, like, this is blister wood. I think blister wood requires 65 or something. I'll stand here for a little bit and we'll test it out. Alright, so, after a little bit, it did give me some passive XP, uh, as you can see right here. I think it just need, uh, you need to, like, hunt it a little bit. It's so, like, over here, this was Hallowed Sepulchre, which, I mean, I don't, I don't know, it wasn't giving me anything for Hallowed Sepulchre, so it might be I need to do something else, but this did, as you saw, got up the Herb Lore and Hunter XP. Oh, oh, these? Uh, uh, don't, don't even, don't, just, don't, don't look at those. Just look at me in the eyes. Yeah, I'm, I I got 50 because I need to go do Winter Todd. And that was the wood cutting. After more running around on rooftops. Yeah, I'm going all over the place. That's kind of how I like to play the game. I don't like to stick to exclusively one task. Also, I went to find the Clue Hunter outfit so I could have warm clothing for Winter Todd. And either it's not in the game, or I don't know where the Clue Hunter outfit is. Uh, so then I just did some more rooftops. I guess I've completely skipped showing Canopus at all. But I, let's be honest, you've seen, you've seen Canopus. Have you seen this one? Have you seen these rooftops in Falador? Because you usually don't do these rooftops. Look at this, look at this high octane, look at this guy. Mm. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. I can't see the rest of it. Okay, there we go. Right back at it. Oh, look at it. Look, it's so beautiful. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's uh, he's doing it. Oh, look at that jump. Mm, delicious. So hot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, I, I just decided to do some of these. I saw in... Not that I'll probably ever need it, but I saw in Winter Todd, there is the 60 agility thing, so I figured back to agility! I, I promise we will go. I went and bought a bunch of food, and I, I definitely overbought my food. 
Uh, the shops don't run out. You can They have infinite uh, stock, so you can definitely get them right there. But that is completing the Falador Agility course, and we're getting closer to the, uh, the 360, 390 points to the next, uh, the next uh, relic. So you know, we're, we're making some steady progress. All right, and there is 60 agility. I thought, uh, so I, I am going to go back. I'm going to go to Winterfell. I promise. I promise. But uh, I'm going to wait until I unlock the next tier of relics since the next tier of relics, I mean, these won't help me, but the next tier of relics will increase the source make it more likely that they happen. So we're definitely going to go uh, get that done and increase the drop rate on things. So I'm glad I caught myself, but I wanted to show this off as well. There are uh, some of the sigils. This is a sigil, sigil of aggression. As you can see, no goblin attack. I'm going to turn auto attack off so I can show you, but click button, goblins attack. And this is something that uh, is in the store on it. Uh, it's on it too. I gotta make sure I don't start destroying stuff. But it's one of those things where it's if you choose to, you could spend money to make this experience faster. You don't have to. There's also some loyalty stuff in the game, so you can go check that out. Now, I was gonna stay there and uh, hang out for a little while. But uh, then I gained an HP level, and if I'm doing the Toad, you don't want to be gaining no levels. And there we go. I did the Todd. Uh, I figured, I mean, I'll be getting levels anyway in uh, Fire Making. This has literally been one game. So your kill count for the Winter Todd is one. Or no, wait, it's you subdued Winter Todd once. So I guess that doesn't work as well for a title. But I have done it. Uh, so we'll we'll head out. And I'll, I'll open this. It's probably not worth opening too many of them. But you can see I got a bunch of fire making. Um, so it's completely doable. I think it might be... A, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, might be like a little off. Because um, like, snow never fell. Uh, but as you can see, we got some, uh, we got the Bruma Torch. You know what this means? I actually can, uh, ditch the, these two. So, huge plays. Um, but yeah, so, so it's not amazing, um, stuff in it, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's resources I can use later, and obviously, like, all these fish I have. I can, you know, eat these. These I all just bought, and then we have the shrimp and the anchovies that I was fishing earlier. So I was gonna go do, uh, Temporos, but Temporos isn't in this game, so I'll do, I'll do, I'll definitely do some more of these. Actually, uh, was there a... Were there tasks for this? Hold on, I, there might not be tasks for it. Whatever, I, I'll do I'll do some more of this and uh but yeah th this like if you're feeling uncomfortable about losing things in like the base game or you missed out because like i missed out i never actually played this uh trailblazer the only league i've played is four so the fact that having it on a uh, custom server means that you can have access to it and for some of the things you can just if you if you choose to you could spend real money um, uh, nothing comes to mind on my character that you could spend, uh, real money. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to get the gag to work. Uh, nothing, nothing comes to mind on my character that you could or couldn't spend real money on. You know, who knows? But it gives you a way to, one, experience some of the content that you may not have because it, all areas are auto-unlocked so you can explore everything. Um, and then you can also avoid some of the tasks that you just think are butts, like the really boring tasks. Uh, so that works out pretty good. And it's also kind of cool when you can see like shout outs right here. Like, uh, this is another player on the server. There's, there's like 150 people playing and it's like not, it's, it's really late or early, depending on how you look. It's like 4 a.m. right now. 
when I'm uh, recording this clip. That might be why I'm rambling a little bit more. But it works as a good way to learn some content in a safer environment. That's kind of how I looked at leagues when I was playing it myself. And also dip your toes into some content that you don't feel comfortable with doing yourself. All right. We did a couple more winter toads, and uh, I was wrong. The snow does fall. Uh, these are very long kills <laughs> because it's solo, but that's okay. We're going to open up three crates. I know if you have higher stats, you get better things. I don't care. I want to open these crates. Ooh, burnt page. It's some acorns. Oh, my God. That's farming XP that I probably will never use. I probably should. Uh, some red topaz and something. I mean, it's literally right here, but nothing new. Anyway, uh, that was uh, partially all I'm going to do right now uh, of this. Obviously, I'll come back. I need to get some higher stats. I don't believe there was any winter toad on here. I probably should have checked may have been a good idea, but uh, by the time we'll get back here and take more damage, suck at me, I'll just take more damage. I want to go do other things. And that's what this is all about. It's a custom server. It is the Relic server, as you have seen multiple times this appear right here. That's the link to it. There should be a link down in the description below. But thank you so very much for joining me on this first episode. We will be back with another one as we continue going through the journey barring this pass's inspection but thank you so very much i will see you all in the next one hopefully you enjoy it's gonna get a lot crazier we're gonna get into a lot more things in the near future